You know what I mean? He owes himself to blame. Maybe I'm a bit harsh in that regard, but I think that's the way to be with this sort of thing. Moving on. Moving fucking on. Let's talk about Chin Su Yi. Chin Su Yi's music video dropped. Tin, Chin, Chin Su Yi's music video has dropped. Let's watch it. Let's fucking watch it. I haven't seen it myself just yet, but let's see Wagwan. Chin and Browse. Oh, so he, he, he doesn't go by the name Little Browse anymore. His name is Browse now. I don't mind that, to be fair. I actually liked it. No, if you, Little Brows may be not too bad as like a play on like the little thing, right? And obviously he's got thick eyebrows. You know, get it, Little Brows? But his name is what? Chin, or is that the duo? Chin and Brows? I don't know what it is, but yeah. But the views are blockbuster though, to be fair. 2.7 views is not a lot for a video that's only two minutes something, right? It should be a lot more than that if they had some sort of pull. But hey, let's see. Chin and Brows, we don't close. <laughs> we don't close. Oh, really? I could never tell. <laughs> anyway, let's see. We Don't Close, starring Chin and Brows, a mus official music video reaction. Let's see what they're saying. Let's see what these absolute... Uh, we Don't Close. We the boys. Yeah, Ace Boys, Ace Pit. Two shots of the whiskey need. Fuck, fuck that. Two more songs on a jukebox. jukebox. I say we should play Wildin. What? You say we should play Tupac. <laughs> With what? <laughs> what rewind we should pay what wallen as in morgan wallen and she likes tupac hold on what a weird girl is that what is that what two shots of the whiskey need uh -huh. two more songs on a jukebox yet yeah, two i say we should play wallen so you say we should play tupac if you're dating a girl that wants to play tupac in a club or in a dive bar you probably should push her into the nearest highway right really if there's a girl that you like, that you're interested in, that wants to play Tupac in the fucking dive bar while you're necking on fucking mimosas and shit and you're trying to finger banger behind the fucking toilets, maybe Tupac isn't the best thing to go with. Maybe. Whiskey gone now, repeat. You could put it on my tab again. Sorry, I'm babbling. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Is this a waste of my time? <laughs> Are we just wasting the night again? Only one thing on my mind. <laughs> the ad libs, the ad libs. <laughs> Is this a waste of my time? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm babbling. I'm just thinking. Is this a waste of my time? Are we just wasting? The <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Let me see the bit right. Let me increase this quality. I want to see this in a little bit more better quality. Let's see this in fucking 4AP. Let's see what's going on. There. <laughs> Is this a waste of my time? <laughs> or the Yeti backpack? Wild one. Two shots of the whiskey, neat. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Is this a waste of my time? Are we just wasting the night again? Only one thing on my mind. Only one thing on my mind again. <laughs> oh, imagine, imagine what type of redact you'd have to be. Imagine where you have to be in life to want to take a picture with chin and brows. In the night again. Only one thing on my mind. Only one thing on my mind. And he's so happy too. Imagine being out with your fucking lady and you see chin and brows and you want to take a picture of them. Imagine. If I was a woman, that would dry up my pussy quicker than anything. Honestly, that shit would be clamped fucking tight at the sight of you fucking sucking up to these two absolute studs. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Because look how happy he looks. That fan actually looks really happy. Like He looks really fucking buzzing to have bumped into brows and chin, chin and brows. All joke aside, Chin is 47. No way. No way. That's a lie. No way. No way. Chin's not 47. No way. No way. Chin is 47 years old. In no, 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 no. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. It wouldn't matter what how old he was if this was good. It wouldn't matter how old he was. But this is so bad. This is like... This is like the equivalent of like, you know when you're, when you're young and you start a band with your friends or like a rap group or whatever. This is that, this, this, you should do that when you're like 16, 17, 18, maybe max 25. That kind of, you know, that era of like, you want to be a pop star, you, you want to be a rapper, whatever, you want to be a singer. You start the other little thing. Your songs are terrible, but you play it for yourselves. Maybe you play it to try to get the attention of someone you're interested in, whatever. But this is not something that you try and pursue in your late 40s. 
I think it's okay when you do this when you're literally a child. There's some sense in it, but when you're in your late forties and you sound like this, because this would be somewhat okay if they were like in college, if they were actually in college and they were trying to make college music for their college friends so that they could get some college pussy and shit or some college pussy. This would be f super good. It'd make a lot of sense, right? If you're a part of that fucking barstool sports college, you know, fraternity type of scene thing, right? That works. But these guys probably aren't allowed on a college campus, right? You would imagine at this point. Hold on, what's that? Is that stuff kind of rapey? If you're leaving, you're leaving not here back alone. Say that again. Only one thing on my mind. Only one thing on my mind again. If you leaving and you leaving me right back here alone, baby. We what? If you're leaving and you're leaving here right back in your alone. If you leaving and you leaving me right back here alone, I don't get that. You know I could go on bed. So he's saying if you leave, I don't care. I can go on bed. I can go to bed by myself. What type of bars are these, bro? Is this meant to get girls wet or something? If you leave, I could be on my own. I could go to bed by myself. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> How's that meant? Is that meant to be like a threat? I'm gonna go to bed by myself. If you don't fuck me, I'm gonna go to bed by myself. It's like, okay, bye. <laughs> what? <laughs> if you don't suck my dick, I'm gonna suck my own dick. <laughs> oh, here comes fucking Chin singing like a Filipino boy in a church choir. Let's go. He doesn't sound like that normally. That's a lot of auto tune. But to be fair, his section is the best of the song. Unironically, his section is the best. The rapping missed me with it, but when it starts, when he starts singing, that's actually the best section of the song. Let's go back to when it starts and I won't interrupt it. That's actually the best bit. Yeah, so Chin's Chin's the best thing about the song. Lil Browns is terrible. Even when he comes in, he's fucking terrible. Chin's the best bit about the song. But it's also funny to hear Chin crooning about women when he has, you know, no women, no bitches in sight, right? No bitches in sight, zero bitches in sight. Going on road trips and stuff on his own and taking with him 10 grand worth of equipment and cooking horrible eggs and bacon and shit. You know, like absolutely crazy, right? But at least he's the best part of the actual tune. I love the fake bar scene too. Part of me thinks this is a waste of opportunity because they could actually go to a real bar and actually have some real footage that they could film. Maybe, you know, you know, maybe, who knows, pull in some fucking bitches, right? And have them fucking, you know, hang around with you during the music video. Going to this fake prop bar thing to film it is such a redacted way to film this scene. It would have been so much better to, to go into a dive bar, go to go behind, you know, ask the bartender, hey, if I give you $100, will you let us film a couple of some things in here quickly before your manager gets back? I'm sure they would have allowed it. Just film some footage, get some B-roll of them, you know, drinking in a bar, talking to some random women at the bar and stuff. But this scene is just so dumb. 
Who does this? Who sits on a bar like this? It's so unnecessarily unnatural. Just go to go film it in an actual real bar or outside of a bar would would bang way more better than this. But hey, what do I know? And it's not eye candy. Again, unapologetically, there's no eye candy. Not even the bartender's some hot dude. There's no hot girls. There's nothing. It's just these two guys gallivanting around in the hills while, I don't know what, Brendan is behind them on his e-bike or some shit. Like, come on, bro. Something. <laughs> putting back the glasses of water that they only drank right only the water they actually drank <laughs> putting back the glasses of water that they drank <laughs> they couldn't even get lit for the music videos man so boring bro come on man live a little hire some halls man get this spiced up Oh, so the meaning of we don't close is like, you know, the, the the bar doesn't close. We're always open. You can always come back. I'm here for you. But actually, you know, we don't close is like a, it's like a, it's like an incel anthem. Do you know what I mean? We're proud. We don't close. You know what I mean? It's bros before the hoes. Always and forever. You know. I don't want to say that was an entire, that was an extreme waste of time. And I want whatever two minutes or five minutes, 10 minutes, however long his reaction was, I want it back. And I don't want to say that they should give up now. And I don't want to say this is pointless and a waste of money. And I don't want to say all those things. But surprisingly, it was a lot better than the clip that I saw originally in the, when I was doing the thing. As a, as a standalone song. Now, would it be something that I play on my own Apple, you know, music and shit? No. Am I going to bang it on my fucking, D during my DJ sets? No. Will I ever listen to it ever again? No. But it is a lot better than what I thought it would be. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to give them some credit there. It sounded worse as a clip. Exactly. There we go. M M Jordan said, MMA Jordan said the same thing. If you listen to it as an audio, it's actually pretty decent. Watching the music video, it makes it 10 times worse, which is odd because usually music videos have the opposite effect. Music videos usually make you like a song more, but the music video for this song is terrible and it makes you not want to like the song. But the song, I think, subjectively is not that bad. Chin is definitely the best part of it. His chorus is really good. Even though he's croning the way he's croning and cry singing, he's actually sounds quite decent. Lil Browse definitely brings the song down. Two shots of the whiskey and eat. Like, that can end me with that shit. But it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm not going to lie. It's just sad to see because, you know, these guys are like, what are they? Chin is obviously, they're saying he's late 40s or something. It's just like, it's what you, it is what you're wasting your time doing. Don't you have better things to do with your time, really, than doing this? Like, we don't get a lot, of, we don't get, you know, allocated a lot of time on this earth. And this is what you're doing. Non-renewable resource, time. And you're wasting it doing this shit. Let's see what the comments say. What are the comments saying here? And let me know as well what you think in the chat. What's your verdict on the, on the song and the video overall? Let me know what you think. So the comments are saying, hell yeah, chin and brows. The dream team making nothing but bangers. All I need is Theo and Cat cameo. Gotta get that chin X brows album. Um, love this chin wow two of the most talented underrated artists i've ever heard no wonder their talents were discovered by my favorite comedian brendan shaw <laughs> that's a good one um love the song and video great job guys love the preview you boys doing it good shit chin chin for the win 
thank you so much man i love your content no matter what you're involved in it's always amazing your music is great been waiting for this boys we need brows and chin collab album this is awesome let's go chin wow people actually like this you great you're great you're great you're great so what are you guys saying in the chat what do you guys think should have been in a neck brace for the video <laughs> the first is hilarious they're also closeted let him chase his dreams bro yeah fair enough that's true um aristokok aristokok king yeti you are right um let him chase his dreams um teju says he should be worried about putting his kids to, in someone he said he's yelling about closing exactly teju that's what i'm saying anyway but what do i know hopefully he has a retirement fund can i drop the in can i drop the interview as can i drop the interview who's who's leche manu i don't know what interview you're talking about brother um hell yeah chin brows coiler he'd be having grandbabies but he'd be carrying an eye back around for papa <laughs> exactly <laughs> Actually, I'm, also, I'm surprised he hasn't... I'm surprised he's not one of those psychos that carries his iMac with him when he goes on holiday. So he can, like, work. Fucking psycho. Um, he spent he spent it in mics and cameras. I think Diddy should have signed these two. Uh, we need an AD Techno remix, lols. I'm completely indifferent. I'm completely indifferent, Crash. Okay. I think that's the version of most people. I just do not care. <laughs> Guess who braided man's hair? spot on oh man okay fair enough most people actually don't give a fuck so i guess it is what it is but yeah it's a lot better than what i thought it'd be i'm not gonna lie it's a lot better than i thought it would be but yeah big up chin and brows i guess big up chin x brows right 